Hi, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to issue a refund to a customer. Now, we've already gone over how to create a credit memo, which is pretty much the same thing. But you want to actually give the customer back their money, whether it's by check or cash or however you wish. So we're going to go ahead and create a refund. The way that you would do that is go into your home page, go into the customer area, and then you'll see something that says refunds and credits. Again, you can also go into the customer menu in the toolbar, and you can do create, create credit memos or refunds. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to use the actual home button key. So go ahead and select refunds and credits. It's going to look like an invoice that's coming up um, or a credit memo that's coming up. It may even say credit memo on it, depending on what you have selected as your template. If you have a different template, you can go ahead and go in here and say create, I mean, sorry, if you have a template, you can go ahead and select the down button and select the credit memo template that you wish to use. We only have one, so we're going to use this one. Okay, go in here and select what customer you want to give the refund to. If they do have a class code associated with that customer um, or with this transaction itself, go ahead and select the class code. We're going to go ahead and say we want to, we're giving them a refund on the landscaping. Okay, so again, go in here and select what item that you want to give them a credit on or a refund on. And we're going to say that we're going to give them a refund on plants and trees. Okay, we're going to say, okay, we're going to give them a quantity on 10. So again, you would just select. And again, it just depends on what you have as your options on your actual credit memo or your invoice or whatever it is. Um, that you've actually created. So if you have, you know, quantity, rate, class, all that stuff selected as to be a part of your credit memo, then go ahead and complete everything. Just as if you were invoicing somebody. Go ahead and create everything. Okay, so on here it shows that we're going to give, we owe them a refund of $16.05. Now the way that you want to give out a, a refund is you want to go ahead and create it. And then go up here to the top. You'll see that there's a toolbar under this 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 button here. So you'll see that there's a toolbar right here. Okay. You'll see that it says use credit to. Hit the down arrow. And if you're giving a regular credit memo, you would apply it to the invoice. If the customer's standing there, they want an actual refund check, select give refund. This will come up. The issue a refund screen will come up. And you're going to say, it's going to say a refund is going to be due to, here's the customer's name. How are you going to pay it out to them? Are you going to refund their credit card? Are you going to give them a check? Are you going to give them cash? What are you going to do? For this sake, we're going to say we're going to give them cash. If you were doing a credit card, their credit card information um, should be saved. If it's not saved, it'll ask you for it. But it's going to tell you down here, you know, process credit card refund. When saving, go ahead and check that and you'll have the credit card option. I don't have it selected here or the credit card option here because this is a sample file. Um, again, that's for any of these. Um, if you're doing an electronic check, the same thing. If you have that option on your QuickBooks as one of your merchant services, then go ahead and select that. If you're doing a regular check, by all means, go ahead and do that as well. Um, and if you want to do cash, again, go ahead and do so. We're going to select check for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, refund amount is $16.05. The items that you can change are going to be the items that show up in white. Everything else is going to show up in black because you cannot change it. Okay, the date that you want to give the refund, so whatever date, we're going to say we want to do it on the 20th. And this ending balance is basically just showing you um, the ending balance in that checking account. See how it changes if I change the bank account? So go to the account, and you're going to want to make sure that you're selecting the right account to issue the refund out of. So go into the account, check which account you want to give the refund out of. Do you want to do it to your checking account, your savings account? Do you want to issue it out of your petty cash account? However you're going to issue this refund, and, and out of whatever account it is, go ahead and select that account. And this will be your ending balance for that account. Again, 
what's your class code. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. If you do, then go ahead and select your class code. And if you want to put in here the memo line of why you're giving the refund. So you can just say um, overcharged, did not use all products or whatever whatever your memo is. You don't have to write a memo, but you might want to. Then you want to hit OK. And you'll see that the credit memo slash refund will have refunded written on the actual invoice itself or the statement itself. If you go into the actual customer's name, you'll see a credit memo here, which is actually a refund. Okay. Now, if you did opt to pay them via check, you're going to want to print the check out. So go to Print Forms in your File menu, select Checks, and we have a lot of checks that we need to print out. But you'll see here that this is our refund that we just created for $16.05. Select what the check number will be, hit OK, and go ahead and print it as you would any other check. And that's how you create a refund within QuickBooks. Again, thank you for visiting us. Please subscribe. Please refer your friends to us. And if you have anything that you would like us to demonstrate, please either comment on our channel or email us at demos at equalityfinancialservices.com. Again, thank you for your time.